Now see here, calculate the velocity of sound in a gas in which two wavelengths 2.04 meter and 2.08 meter produce 20 beats in 6 seconds. We know it lambda 1 is equal to 2.04 meter and lambda 2 is equal to 2.08 meter. Here m is the number of beats per second is 20 by 6. We know this formula v is equal to nu 1 into lambda 1. So, nu 1 is equal to velocity upon wavelength lambda 1. Number of beats or the beats frequency is actually difference of the two frequencies that is nu 1 minus nu 2 is equal to m. So, in place of nu 1 and nu 2 we have replaced this value and we can write also nu 2 is equal to v upon lambda 2. So, here v upon lambda 1 minus v upon lambda 2 is equal to 20 by 6. Putting the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2 and by taking LCM, we have got this equation V into 2.08 minus 2.04 upon 2.08 into 2.06 is equal to 20 by 6. When we solve this equation, we get velocity is equal to 353.6 meter per second. Now, see here find the velocity of source of sound when the frequency appears to be double the original frequency to a stationary observer or listener. We know apparent frequency is equal to V minus V L upon V minus V S into nu, where V L is the velocity of listener, V S is the velocity of source. And there is a frequency will be appearing here double the original frequency, it means source is moving towards the stationary listener. So, actually V L is equal to 0 and we can write nu dash is equal to V upon V s into nu. So, we can write here 2 nu is equal to V upon V minus V s into nu, this and this will get cancelled. We can get 2 V minus 2 V s is equal to V. So, we can get here V is equal to 2 V s. So, we can write here V s is equal to V upon 2. So, this condition is possible if the source is approaching the listener with the half the velocity of the sound.